This is Python's Paradise. This is your host, Greg Gilbert, a.k.a. the Python Hyena, straight out of Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. And folks, it is a cold winter day out there here on this uh, February 24th, 2022. But it's warm here. Why? Because I have a lovely return guest. And she is joined by her husband today. Folks, I give you Judith Myers herself, the absolutely stunning, beautiful Sandy Johnson and her husband, Dan. I'm happy to have with me for the first time. Welcome, you two. Thank you. Thank happy to be here. Yeah. I wish I had a Halloween shirt. I don't. I had to go with Friday the 13th, the final <laughs> chapter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that works. I did interview this Jason, though, so... <laughs> Yep, Ted White. I'll tell you what I do have, though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. A <laughs> pandemic mask. I figure if I'm going to wear these things, I might as well go in class. I got one of this. I got the Blues Brothers. I got the Big Lebowski. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> they, they're, a, they're uh, quite the talking point when I'm I'm cleaning, you know, so which is what I do for my day job, so to speak, or night job, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wonderful to have you two on here. I know, Sandy, last time I had you on, you guys were experiencing uh, something you guys never had before, what we are always prepared for, snowstorms. <laughs> we are. Well, guess what? What? It's icing outside, so again. And it's in the 20s. Yeah, that rare occasion has repeated itself. In the twenties, yes. You, the day you, the day before it went to the twenties, it was eighty five. <laughs> Listen, and they were de they were putting the de icing on the roads at eighty five degrees for the storm the next morning. And you know what? I had I was talking to Nancy McLaughlin, who speaking of Friday the Thirteenth, she was in part six. Jason lives. And I was talking to her last night. And she was talking about how she was getting bundled up because it was. Uh, 47 degrees and i'm like <laughs> you guys don't know what cold is i don't know what it is here but it's a lot lower than it is there or in california <laughs> no doubt yeah um i hear stories a lot about especially uh canadians getting off a plane in california and uh wearing next to nothing and <laughs> <laughs> I hear stories about people there offering them clothes because <laughs> they think they're cold. <laughs> like, no, we're taking it off because we're sweating. <laughs> oh, well, it's wonderful to have you two uh, on here. And I, I love the story. Um, uh, to get a little background, tell me how you two met. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it was a blind. It was a blind date. Um, but we actually talked on the phone for a couple months before we met, and then it was still a blind date. <laughs> I got to see the inside first. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, and, yep, that's what it was. We went on a blind date, and we've pretty much been together ever since. Now this this uh, friend of mine called and says, I've got this girl you need to meet. Here's her phone number. You got to call her right away. Well, I didn't. I waited a few days and then she called and really chewed me up. She gave me a 911. I thought her house was on fire or something. And and uh, so finally I had to, before I'd hang up, I could hang up. She I had to promise I'd call as soon as I hung up. And so I did. And you can tell your side of it. <laughs> So I, um, I had just broke up with my fiance. And so I wasn't in any hurry <laughs> either. So we just took our time. We talked on the phone for a couple months and then we, we went out um, to dinner. And within a couple of days, I was meeting his children. And then uh, we just um, were inseparable pretty much. So where did you go to dinner? 
Bennigan's. We went to a place called Bennigan's. Are they still in business? No. I don't think they're in business <laughs> I think they anymore. Went under... Yeah. Okay, uh, do you remember what you had for your dinner date? Well, <laughs> the funny thing was that they brought me dinner. We, we both ordered, but they brought her dinner. And they, they did. did not bring his dinner. So <laughs> he's going, uh, hello, <laughs> where's my dinner? And she said, well, you didn't order dinner. So that was kind of a funny first date is that he, he didn't get any food. Well, I mean, he did eventually, but. <laughs> <laughs> that made the date last longer. So I had to wait for the second dinner. <laughs> well, did you... Um... Did you know that uh, she was an actress uh, prior, or when did no, that come up? Not no. Going, not going. Yeah. So, um, when did you find find out about uh, her past with stuff like Halloween and stuff like that? Two months later, it wasn't real long time, was it? I don't even remember. It wasn't either. right away. No. But it was after. It was probably a couple months. months. Later, couple months later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she was on one date and uh, 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 Halloween, and I don't know. That was so quick. Uh, I almost forget about. <laughs> 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 you know. Um, yeah. It. Um, you locked out Dan. She's still is beautiful. <laughs> And then find out about Playboy also at the same time. There you and, go. Uh, then I got to go shuffling back. Do I have that one? Do I have that one? <laughs> you know, funny things happen in high school. And they, uh, when you're graduating class, they come around to interview each one of the seniors. And they, you know, what are you going to be known for? And I, I said, well, I'm going to marry a, a Playboy playmate. And, <laughs> and yeah, ended up I did eventually. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It was funny then, but I can't go back and brag now because most of them aren't, still, aren't around anymore. <laughs> oh, you could still brag. You oh, could yeah. still brag. <laughs> you know, I thought I would drag these out for out and uh, show these off because they're pricelessly wonderful. After all, I showed off a, a Halloween mask, so... It's only fair that I show off these lovely photos. I never sell autographs. I know that I don't agree with that. There are people out there that do, but I do not. I always keep everything that I, I have. Boy, this thing's wedged in here good. Sandy, I think you have to have a lock and key to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she got in there. There we go. We're getting there. We're going to wedge her out. Because you know what? I want people to, be able to see this and see what photos you have on your website so other people can order these too. You know, if I can get them out. <laughs> Oh my, she is caught in there. Hopefully the other two come out easier. There we go. To Greg, such a pleasure to know you, Sandy Johnson, Judith Myers. There's that famous shot. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> Michael. <laughs> yeah, you need to really put a sign on the door that says, you know, keep out, you know. <laughs> yeah. You really do. <laughs> no brothers allowed. No brothers allowed is right. And uh, that was a famous shot. And uh, then there's this one. I, I definitely had to get one of these because it's like... Um, know why they're wedged in here so well but 
these ones here are so creative and uh, need to be seen. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there must be moisture in there or something. I don't think so. The pictures are fine, but boy, do they ever stick in there. It's, it's, it's Sandy's fault. See, I couldn't get dinner and you can't get the pictures out. <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But anyway, um, there you go. To Greg, thanks for being a great friend, Sandy Johnson, Judith Myers. I like that, these creative ones you do like that. And I love the purple in that. Thank you. That is a good shot. I like that one too. Yeah. S sitting by uh, Judith's headstone. <laughs> yeah. So I got that one. Let's see if the third one comes out e any easier. Fingers crossed, let's see. <laughs> and the third one, I had to get a, uh, a modeling picture. Yeah, this one's gonna fight me too. No, there's no, no moisture in there as far as I know, so. But uh, I want, oh, this one came out easier. To Greg with love, Sandy Johnson, Judith Myers. Ah, oh, look at that great picture right there. <laughs> yeah. I love, uh, yeah, I love the browns and I love the uh, the yellow chair you're sitting in. Yeah, beautiful picture. Thank you. You still got that cowboy hat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish I did. You I bought a red one, kind of like it though recently. Oh, there you go. There you go. You go wear that in a photo shoot? Probably yes. There you go. So yeah, I, uh, I I have these, and I thought I, I would show these off again because well, so anybody that sees this can uh, go on your website and uh, check these out. Oh yeah, this is you sent this to me as well. I almost forgot because <laughs> I connected you with Joel Bender just before he Hi. passed away. Right. Yeah. Oh, this one slid out easy. Greg, you lock, you 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 rock. Love you, Sandy Johnson. April, look at that gas pump girls. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I yeah. appreciated you doing that. I was happy to do it. I'm glad I got him on the show before he passed. You know, and so uh, yeah. Um, no, I was happy that it was perfect timing that I put you in touch with him. So. So uh, no, I was glad that that worked out for you, and uh, and uh, yeah. So no, I thought I would show these off for you, and anybody that uh, wants to get pictures, where do they go, Sandy? Plug your website. <laughs> <laughs> Unicornsandyj.com. Explain the unicorn thing again. I know you did once, but people need to hear. What All is right. the unicorn? My current agent had looked for me for a long time, like eight years, and, yep. <laughs> and he just, he pretty much thought he, it was never going to happen. So when he found me, he said, I was like that magical, mythical creature uh, that isn't quite real. And all of a sudden there I was. So I was his unicorn. <laughs> you, you, well, you know what? It was great because it all started, I think Sean Clark had done a an article or something there and uh, because they needed to contact you for Halloween 2018, you know? Correct. Yeah. So I'm glad they found you. And I know I've heard that story, you know, and Dan being asleep and you didn't want to wake him. And <laughs> <laughs> No, I didn't. Then the no. Later, we wake up in California. <laughs> there you go. And I got a couple of Blu-rays too. Look at that. Oh, nice. Always love the poster for this. Yeah, that's a good one. I sign a lot of those. Yeah, I got to get a t-shirt uh, with that on it whenever I uh, uh, find one. And um, I got this. I ordered this uh, just after um, I interviewed Joel Bender. Nice. Yeah, 
And of course, That's the old cool store. I have that in Blu ray. Huh? It's cool to have that in Blu ray. Yep. I love the Blu rays. Now, I told this story before. I, I've, I'd love to get Kirsten Baker on here because when I saw Friday the 13th Part 2, she became the first female I ever seen nude. <laughs> <laughs> I interviewed Russell Todd from that movie, and he said that uh, Kirsten would probably love to hear that story. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple of those stories, too, <laughs> <laughs> from fans. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, but um, but Hots, I don't think, is on Blu-ray yet. And I've had Lisa London on here a couple times. Still misbehaving, as usual. <laughs> she uh, she uh, made a comment on one of my Facebook posts yesterday. I saw that. Uh, yeah, I commented back to her. It was nice to uh, hear from her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm hoping HOTS comes out on Blu-ray. But before we get into anything else, again, I want to express my extreme pre appreciation that you did the Doubt for Our Face Challenge. I threw it out to you. <laughs> I had fun with that. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I bet you did. Well, you want me to tell you a little story, Sandy? Sure. I was at Frightmare in the Falls last last uh, October in Niagara Falls. And probably one of the most pleasant experiences I ever had meeting a guest there, and I haven't had her on the show yet, but she's going to do it, was Felissa Rose. Ah. I showed her your doubt fire face challenge because <laughs> you nominated her and she goes right. yeah i'll do it and she turns to her handler and she goes i'm gonna take a pie in the face and i say well you don't have to do it right here now <laughs> but i sent her a cameo and she responded and she said that um she absolutely wants to do it and she said that uh she wants to do it with her nominees and she's nominating um uh, Dave Sheridan, um, Alex Vincent, and Christine Elise. So I'm like, awesome. Nice. And this is perfect because um, I, I'm a co-producer on a movie where I tried to get the people involved in that um, on board with the Doubtfire Challenge. And um, I ended up getting mocked for it. That wasn't really? very, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they they uh, misconstrued what the challenge was all about. And I'm under the impression it just became, with me, it was all about money. And uh, I put a lot into that movie, which I can't do now. And I was a little taken aback uh, by the response but mm. but nonetheless i was happy you did it and uh and i have a few other i'm pretty sure felissa will do it when her schedule clears she's always either doing a movie or doing a con every one or the weekend every weekend <laughs> well i'll tell you um when she was there uh even when the place was closing up she still had a line and she, I guarantee you see she signed for everybody. She gave everybody a big hug. She always does the, the one photo with the Angela face right. and then one uh, with her normal face. And, uh, <laughs> and it, she was seated beside Dave Sheraton. Dave Sheraton was dressed up as Officer Doofy from Scary Movie. <laughs> and say, uh, Felissa is involved and I think a couple of films, at least, that I have my name on. And one of them is Z Dead End. And she and Dave are both in that. And I, when I got to Dave's table, I said, um, I told him about that. And he goes, he looks at me and he goes, technically, you're my boss. <laughs> and he turns to Sandy in the table next to him and he goes, hey. This is our boss, Sandy, or Felissa Rose is like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but she's, she's delightful. 
she is delightful. But uh, one question I have, because this is one of the reasons I wanted to get both of you on here, because your Dan, your story sounds similar to mine, because uh, I've lived here in New Brunswick, Canada, my whole life. I'm going to be 50 this July. And other than Prince Edward Island, I've never been out in New Brunswick. And uh, it wasn't until 2017 that um, Lisa Langwa from the movie Class of 1984, we got talking about travel on her second time on my show. And she asked what was stopping me. And she made me the offer I could not refuse, as Marilyn Brando would say. She offered me an opportunity to go to Toronto to Horrorama, which she was going to be a guest at, to a sister at her table. Wow. And I couldn't say no to that. <laughs> yeah. And she and I have been friends ever since. Uh, we exchanged Christmas gifts through the mail, although my, my cat wished that uh, she wouldn't send him gifts because he doesn't like wearing Santa hats. <laughs> 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 but I remember um, I'm the only one in my family who's ever been in a plane. And uh, it actually didn't bother me. It's like taking a bus, only it's in the sky, you know, didn't bother <laughs> me. <laughs> and when I landed in Toronto, it's like um, we got big buildings here, but nothing like there. <laughs> and um, I met with Lisa. And uh, I dropped my stuff off where I was supposed to. And she and I went to, to dinner and um, we just talked like uh, normal people. And uh, I showed up there on a Thursday. The events was Saturday and Sunday. But I, I showed up on a Thursday because on the Friday, she was going to go get her pictures. And it gave me a chance to um, help her get her stuff, but also see the city some more. Because she coached me on how to use the subways and the streetcars because we don't have those here. <laughs> and um, every year I go there, except for 2020, um, I always hook up with Lisa and we hang out. So that, that has been a lot of fun. But I remember that first con. And um, they're addictive, I'll tell you. I Absolutely. was where, yeah. <laughs> I got him an opportunity to walk around and I was wearing a clockwork orange t-shirt <laughs> and this woman dressed up as a demented clown come up to me and she goes I love your shirt and she rolls her sleeve up and there's a clockwork orange tattooed on her arm <laughs> and it was just so inclusive so Dan here's a question for you what was this introductory world like for you what like when you first found out that um let's backpedal a little bit because i'm really interested in your take on this when sandy got up that following morning because she was really you must have been really good to her that she let you sleep uh, <laughs> when she when you guys have breakfast the following morning Talk about that conversation where she brought this up about the con and uh, cons and meeting uh, this guy that was contacting her about doing the cons. Well, anyway, she starts talking about it and she says, we're, I think she says, we're going to California. I said, where is she? she said, Pasadena. And I said, when? She says, a couple of weeks. That's a couple of weeks. So I'm wondering what this is all about. You know, I've never been to, I mean, I've been to the car shows and the, RV shows and the boat shows. This is totally different. <laughs> here we go in at, you know, we get to Pasadena. I, I, I can't talk about it at work or anything because no one knows what's going on. So I just tell them, I'm, you know, I just took a couple of personal days so we could go. And, and uh, I think we went on Friday, Saturday, came back on Sunday. And then we were coming back on Wednesday to go to the premiere. So we were in LA twice that week. But anyway, uh, so we go into the table and here's her banner and, and you know, um, everybody, that was, everybody wasn't in the uh, area there where it's all Halloween's, all the different Halloween's. Mm -hmm. so that was the Halloween 40 celebration. So, and, you know, I knew some of the people 
I never met them, but I knew who they were. And then, you know, I was kind of looking around and, and then we, we sat at the table and, and they said, well, they're about to open the door. When they opened the door, <laughs> she instantly had, I'm guessing about 300 people in her life. It was. We keep we get, get, keep getting studded here, but it's okay. We're in control. Uh, you said about three hundred people in her lineup. I'm I'm guessing. So I, I, you know, she's signing. And what was funny is she was trying to practice what she should do. So for the the two week period before we went, I would just massage her hands every night so that her signing hand would be. In shape. But it turns out I picked the wrong part. <laughs> what she didn't realize. Is every time she stood up for a picture, and you know, it's her leg, <laughs> it's her thigh muscles from standing up and you know, jumping up after each each person comes up to stand by them for you know for a selfie. But but anyway, I'm still looking around and I'm going, where are we? Because you wouldn't believe the fabulous costumes that everyone. Oh yeah. <laughs> These days we'll move to the big city where they have real internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a problem. It's a Texas internet, huh? Well, it's Texas rural, rural internet. Ah, oh, I I know about rural. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the city now, but I I, I know I, I know what it's all about. But uh, what we where where did you leave off there? Um, no, I, I was looking at I was just mesmerized by all the people and yeah. and the way they were dressed and how immaculate these costumes were. And it was interesting. Um, there was a guy at the table beside of us with PJ Souls, and you know he was he and I got to visiting a lot and everything during that whole thing. And he reminded me this past, I guess we were in Chicago, and they were beside us again. He says, "I remember you on that at that first con." He said, "You were just looking around like." Where am I? Like you said, you was like a, a kid and the monster had just come out of the closet. <laughs> and he said, you were, you know, you were checking everybody out. And of course, all these Michaels kept coming up and they got knives. And I'm sitting there. And Let's apologize for anybody listening. You know, we're having some internet connections, but we're, we're I keep it on top of this. It's all recording. So <laughs> all these Michaels are coming up and they have not. I, oh. By the way, when I was at uh, one of these cons, I had my picture taken with a guy dressed as Michael Myers and he's got this knife up and I'm kind of like, like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it, it took me that con to get, get used to that. And then, you know, and then the, this was about 45 minutes into this, and her agent said, I mean, you know, I said, boy, that's a lot of people in her line. He says, wait till they open the doors. I said, what do you mean open the doors? He says, those were all, these people are all VIP. He said, they opened the doors to the general public in 15 minutes. He said, you haven't seen anything yet. And he was right. They were wrapped all, all down the aisle and around the corner. And, you know, I, I walked back just to see that. I don't know. So you uh, said that you were went back and you looked at the lineup. Yeah, that must have been quite the walk. Just, <laughs> just kept going on and on and on, quite a walk. And I come back to tell her how many people, and she goes, "Wow!" And uh, it... a lot of editing to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so that must have been quite a walk for you to go back there and look at that lineup there. So. <laughs> Absolutely, I couldn't believe how far the line went. And, and I came back as I was checking to make sure I, that was still her line that it was. Wow. <laughs> I thought maybe I mixed it with someone else's. And there were multiple lines that are not. They were all just there to see Sandy. So, Well, you know, I haven't had PJ Souls on here yet. I, I She's somebody on my bucket list. But uh, one thing we got to do, we got to get that doubt fire face challenge to her. <laughs> I, I'd love to see her do that, you know. So I, I, I got to figure that out somehow, her and Nick Castle both, you know, um, but, um, but we did, uh, I did get it to Felissa Rose. So if I run into one of the other two, I'll show it to them, <laughs> I'll show it to them. but um, anyway, um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I saw 
I follow Sean Clark. I had Sean Clark on here a couple times, you know, and um, <laughs> I saw the video where he and Nick Castle were playing the uh, Halloween pinball machine, and there yeah, you're going Chicago. around. <laughs> yeah. It's Sandy going along there taking pictures, but then there's another video where Sandy's playing it and you're just getting really <laughs> going after it. <laughs> I shot that one. <laughs> yeah, Danny shot that one. It was fun. I loved it. We have one ordered. Yeah. We're I heard one. that. So, so you know, that now you guys can, you know, get back at Michael. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It has a Judith Myers mode. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's interesting because, um, I mean, you get a pivotal role in the movie, but uh, it's interesting how, you know, you go to these cons and all these people line up and uh, they, they want to get everybody, you know, and, and uh, you know, Will Sandin is now starting to do these cons. Mm -hmm. You know, that must have been interesting seeing him again, huh? It was. We've we've done a few together. Three, yeah, four. three or four. He's super nice. He's fun to work with. Well, so far you're the only one from that movie I've had on here. I've had Dick Warlock from the second one on here. Uh, I haven't had a lot of Halloween people, uh, not out of neglect, just uh, out of contacts. But I'm really glad I got you. Um, <laughs> yep. But. Um, but uh, you you had mentioned uh, I can't remember his name. My apologies. The guy who played your boyfriend did one con. Uh, Kyle, what's his first name? Uh, I got his book right here somewhere. Oh, he's got a book. Yeah, he's got a book. I might have packed it. Yeah, he was in Pasadena at the at the first one that we were in. Also, oh, he was right beside. I think David Kyle. I David think Kyle. David Kyle. Yeah. Was he was he wearing the the stripey t shirt? <laughs> no, I've, no. Worn, I've worn it a couple of times. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dan, what's it like for you to re reenact these photos with or these scenes for these photos? It's a ton of fun. I usually get reprimanded by the photographer or by her by halfway through. <laughs> I might take it a little further than the, than the original guy did. <laughs> so do you feel young again when you do these? I, I think you're only, uh, however, you, whatever age you feel, that's where you should hang out. And that's where I tend to hang out at a lot younger age than I really am. So uh, most of the time I'm out there having, having a good time. And, so did you like... Bit, <laughs> Did you pass those around uh, the office at the, the <laughs> place you work there, the school you teach at? No, they don't. As far as I know, they don't know anything. <laughs> uh, that was if, what was like when they, I was... <laughs> if they knew, they would ask about it, but they don't know. They, they don't need to know. <laughs> that you don't show up there wearing the stripy shirt? No, no. They wouldn't notice anyway. My phone went off. My ringtone is the Halloween uh, theme. Oh, love and, it. And uh, they said, well, the girl says, why is that on your phone? And I said, oh, that's my that's my spam ring. I said, if, it, if it get, that goes off, it's spam. And I just reached down and punched my phone, you know, and didn't answer it. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, are a professor, right? You still teach? Yes. yes. Oh. And I'll finish my 29th year. Uh, in May. 29? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, wait to get out of the school. <laughs> well, it's a little different when you're, exams are fun when you're giving them a not take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> 29 years. I've never, uh, I have a couple of uncles that taught the local high school here and, uh, they went like 30, 31 years, you know, um, 20, 29. Okay. Okay. 29. I'm thinking you were over that. What am I thinking? My math, you, you tell math was not my strong point. I used to put one <laughs> and one together and get 11. Uh, 29 years. Um, so what, what do you teach? I teach the electrical courses in the building trades. Uh huh. Uh, the air conditioning refrigeration field, actually. Okay. 
been doing that for a long time. But you didn't teach uh, Sandy survival? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sandy also told us for me that uh, you also uh, have another job at Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. He's been <laughs> that for 15 years. You know what? I have a theory as to what happened to Michael Myers. This is my theory. Sandy was probably good all year. And Michael probably got coal in his stocking and got very angry. <laughs> he was that? angry from, the, from December all the way to the next October for <laughs> Halloween. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So uh, um, do you have a favorite Christmas movie that uh, anything like that inspire you for this? <laughs> Like Bad uh, Santa, maybe? <laughs> yeah, that one is a funny one. But, it is. Uh, I love it. <laughs> you couldn't do Santa for very long if you did that once. <laughs> you, you don't think Billy Bob Thornton nailed it? <laughs> no, he nailed it. He's, he's actually from this area. He's, he's, uh, he's from the same area of Texas. He, he's, he's playing the role in the 1883. He's the, the Fort Worth Sheriff in that, in that series. So, well, he's such a great actor he is. I love Bad Santa I remember seeing that in theater and there was some angry parents because they were bringing their kids to this Christmas <laughs> movie <laughs> and they're watching Billy Bob Thornton uh, <laughs> urinating himself and <laughs> <laughs> I love the movie I gotta say it was one of the funniest Christmas movies I've seen so, uh... I, I agree with that yeah, but um, but uh, nonetheless, uh, do you have a favorite? Do you both have a favorite Christmas movie? Mm, Christmas movie. We're so busy at Christmas, we don't get to watch movies. Yeah, we're so always so busy at Christmas. I don't know that we watch movies, but I still like the classics. Yeah. It's yeah. a Wonderful Life. Yes, it's a Wonderful Life. I would say that I like the classics. Uh, yes. I had uh, uh, Caroline Grimes on from It's a Wonderful Life. She was the one that said the line, uh, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Gets its wings. Yeah. Love yeah. that. She's still with us. And uh, when I discovered she wow. was doing the cons, I had her on here because It's a Wonderful Life came out the same year my dad was born, you know? Wow. So um, I was happy to get somebody on from that movie. So uh uh, to me, it's one of the most important movies ever made because really, when you stop and think about the message of it, it's like, what would life be if we didn't exist? Maybe we're more important than we give ourselves credit for, you know? I, I found it to uh, be a very powerful film. I try to catch it every year if I can, you know? That and Bad Santa. <laughs> 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 Actually, when I was in Toronto in 2019 for Horrorama, they had a double screening. Uh, um, I think it was at the Royal Theater of White Christmas and the original Black Christmas, <laughs> which was interesting. And I remember calling Lisa Langwa and I said, uh, you want to join me for these? I'll get you tickets. She, she wasn't interested in White Christmas. She did want to see Black Christmas because Black Christmas was shot in Toronto where mm -hmm. she's from so she she knew a lot of people in it so um anyway uh i went to both uh white christmas had its fans there but black christmas was packed <laughs> it was packed <laughs> and uh i've interviewed a few people from black christmas but uh one of the people i haven't interviewed is art hindel and uh lisa was like i should call art and find out if he still has that jacket from that film <laughs> And she, I, I, I was there when she made the call. And uh, according to what I could hear, yeah, he still has that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Black Christmas predated Halloween by four years. And, uh, and that might have been one of the things that opened the doors for uh, Halloween, because I guess uh, John Carpenter, and Bob Clark, um, 
from what I'm hearing, they had a dialogue where, well, like, what would happen if Black Christmas had a sequel? And I, th uh, from what has been said, Bob Clark was like, well, maybe Billy's at an asylum or something like that. <laughs> and I think I think that's what where Halloween ended up coming from. Huh. Uh, yeah. So um, anyway, uh, prior to the cons, uh, how into horror films were you two? <laughs> hmm. I remember which one. You know, we were so busy, we didn't really go to the movies or watch, really watch much of anything. Before all of that, when I was still in school, I was definitely a big horror fan. But then once we got to be adults and <laughs> super busy, there was no time for any kind of movie. So yeah, there was just a whole time there when I was getting my education, all that stuff, where it was pretty much reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> well, Dan's busy all year. He has to get ready for the following December. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Dan, how good is she all year? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, how long have we been together? 30? I don't know. That's 37, I think. I think it's 37. Somewhere in there we've been married. We want to stop and go go find the wedding album to get the date <laughs> off of it so we can remember again. It's <laughs> 37 <laughs> years. Wow. You don't hear that much anymore. I mean, my, my parents, I think, got 50 in. And then for Lisa, anytime we run into her, she's, she, you know, we're always going around holding hands. She goes, ah, here comes the lovebirds again. And <laughs> <laughs> she just, she brings that up every time we see her. She, she has to tell everybody how long we've been together. You know? So that's always <laughs> neat. She just thinks that's so neat. So. I've been single for 50 years. I, 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 the only one that wants to be with me is my cat. And he's over there trying to avoid the, uh, the camera here because he knows I'll stick him right out in front here. <laughs> um, yeah, when I went to the cons, I'm going to tell you the, um, the costumes are phenomenal. I'll, I'll say that. Um, uh, you must get a lot of very unique items that are, are brought up there. Uh, between the two of you, what, what stands out? Oh, there was a model of the Myers, front of the Myers house, mm -hmm. and it played the theme song. And it was just, it was a really good replica. And I signed the side of it. It was very that cool. That was Pasadena. Yeah, that was Pasadena. So that was probably one of the coolest things that I've signed. I mean, I've signed people with shirts while they're wearing them and <laughs> things like that. And, uh, but <laughs> and the young Michael costume, that's a really tough one to sign on that material. So Yeah, it's real silky. So that's a hard one. But I have signed the, the clown costume. Um, and then people will come in kind of with rare figurines and stuff that they'll want signed, but the house was very cool. So um, when Will shows up, does he ever wear the clown costume? <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. He signs the mask, uh -huh. but uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't wear the <laughs> costume. <laughs> yeah. I know that there was some controversy uh, involving Tony Moran. Has that moved over any, or or is that still an issue at the cons? Um, it depends. I mean, there's a lot of fans who don't really care um, what he said. Uh, You, you were saying there before we got kind of wonder if Tony intervened on that one. <laughs> don't say yeah. it, don't say it. Yeah. I've never okay. spoke to him before, you know. I, I've got no dog in the fight. I know Sean Clark's story, you know, and whatnot. I saw the videos. Um, I'm all for giving people second chances, but I'm gonna tell you they were they were harsh listens, I'll tell you that. Yeah, definitely. So he um there's a lot of fans that 
um, really don't care for him and, and find it hard, I think, to forgive him. So there's kind of two groups out there. I don't, I don't know which one's bigger. Um, I'm about to do another con with him in um, Nashville. Mm -hmm. So the, the picture is of both of us and there's been comments both ways on Facebook. You know what? Um, I look at it this way. I don't think I'd have any problem meeting him. You know, I've never had that. I personally have well meet you. <laughs> there you go. That <laughs> one there, I get to jump on uh, right away. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but nonetheless, no, I'd love to meet you. Do you now when you go to the cons? Uh, do you wear the? I know it's in a lot of your photos that you do. You wear the pink and the black skirt and whatnot. Do you wear that when you go to the cons? I wear it for photo shoots at the cons. At for the cons? The, the photo ops, right. I usually do um, one, if there's other Halloween people there, I'm just dressed normal, uh -huh. but they can also get just a Judith Myers where I'm dressed as Judith with me. So I've done that a few times and it's been real popular. She did that in Manchester, England. So. Yeah, I there did that go. in UK. Okay. Oh, I've never been to the UK. What was that experience like? Awesome. It was. <laughs> Excellent. No, I've never been to the UK. So uh, that's all new. I've interviewed a lot of people from the UK, mind you. That's what's close I got. <laughs> very, very nice. Very, very yeah. nice. Yeah, we had, a, we had a great time. It was beautiful. The people were wonderful. <laughs> I have my new favorite word, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, yeah. Uh -huh. Everything's lovely. They were going to have us there for two days for the con, and I go, she come home and tells me about it, and I go, or I came home and she told me about it, and I said, in two days, that's not enough. I said, we need to stretch this in a week to 10 days, and she says, but you have to work. I said, let me worry about that. <laughs> and I realized in 20, 29 years, I'd taken like maybe two personal days so it was time for some personal days. And so we stayed and, and toured, did some tours, took a lot of train rides and saw a whole lot of the UK, a lot of different areas. And it was yeah, awesome. It was, it was great. We thoroughly enjoyed it. So Dan, do you ever dress as Santa Claus at these? Do Judith Myers Santa Claus photo ops? <laughs> no, we might have to try that if they ever have one. <laughs> <laughs> they normally don't have them close to Christmas, though. No. They usually die down in November and don't crank back up till February. So. Yeah, because that that would that would be a photo op right there. Yeah. You could you could have Will Sandin off into the corner and <laughs> he gets cold. I don't know if he would ever work again as Santa though if we did that. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's another thing. If they find out the the other side of the coin here, I'll probably be bumped out of some of those organizations. You know <laughs> why? I think that's really picky. Yeah, you know why? I I I really don't get that. You know, um, uh, no, I I was brought up in a Christian home, and I still read my Bible over there. You know, but I often say to people, I was like. Was there ever a movie any bloodier than The Passion of the Christ? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I mean, I I like to accept all kinds of people, you know, because that was what Jesus was all about. So, you know, so if people got angry about that, you know, I'd be I'd be I'd question them, you know, you know, um, I find at the cons, I think it's some of the kindest people I see there, you know, Absolutely. I, yeah, you know, um, Jeepers, Felissa Rose alone, you know. <laughs> absolutely. You just the, be, they have, the horror fans are absolutely the nicest people on the planet, no doubt. There's Santa's reindeer up on the hill. <laughs> oh, you guys got deer there, huh? Oh, yeah, there's about six that went right across the window here. Well, you know what? Uh, Not reindeer. The white tail. Are, 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 the, are the cats go go out and hunt them? <laughs> no, it's too cold. They're all cuddled up in their heated beds. Yeah, they should, yeah, I don't blame them. You know, my 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 cat stays here. My cat freeloads. 
<laughs> yeah. But no, I, I love sending you those bad cat calendars. I'm glad you love those. You know, what a unique calendar that is. And um, I give a few of those out and I knew you had cats. So I had to send you them. So I'm glad you glad you like that. Um, I do. It's a great calendar. Yeah. How much fun was it, Dan, to, to dress up as Michael Myers and put the pie in Sandy's face for that uh, challenge for suicide and depression awareness? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, occasionally I get on the camera too with her so that's that's that makes it fun so thanks for inviting me this time so that oh no I I wanted to hear that story you know um <laughs> yeah that's that was mine I remember I donated to tunnels for towers uh for Sandy for doing that so that's that's something I I put out to people you know because uh, that's a very serious cause and uh, absolutely Looking forward to seeing Felissa do it and hopefully PJ Souls and totally, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so how often do you see PJ at the cons? I see her two or three times a year usually. Usually she's right next to me. They put her next to me and she's also delightful. I oh, love geez. it. Usually I have Felissa or PJ nearby and they're both just lovely, lovely ladies. And a couple of times you had PJ on one side and Felissa on the other side. Yeah, I've even been blessed to be <laughs> right between them. <laughs> oh my goodness, that must have been fun. <laughs> Lots of fun. Yeah, they're they're uh, on uh, Felissa's table, it gets rowdy. <laughs> really, really. <laughs> oh yeah, Fel yeah, they always they always have a a, a big table. Now, do you get much for uh, uh, gas pump girls and uh, uh, hots for signing stuff? No, not really. Every once in a while, I'll have somebody bring me something. And I've sold a couple of the pictures, but not a lot. There'll be people who come in with the movie posters. That's, that's, that's what the, probably the most common thing she signs for each of those. Yeah, now and then. Nothing like Halloween, but there are the fans. I love <laughs> Halloween. Have you seen uh, uh, Kristen Baker at any of these cons yet? I have not seen her. I have met her agent who has been talking about hopefully getting us together at one. So that'd be fun. I'd love to see her again. I got to get her on here. I got some stories for her. <laughs> 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 yep. Um, um, no. No. Uh, when I put you in touch with um, uh, Joel Bender, what do you remember best about that last conversation you had? Because I'm going to tell you, that was perfectly timed. Right. I remember that he seemed a little confused. Yeah. He was, um, he was happy to hear from me and he knew who I was, but he seemed, he, he thought he had some pictures, but he wasn't sure. And he said he would look, but he wasn't, he just, he just seemed confused to me. So, um, yeah, that was, that was sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he, he was nice and, and he did, he did send them to me. Mm -hmm. So that was nice of him, but I, I did feel he, he seemed a little confused and disoriented. I got a little bit of that too, um, uh, when I talked to him, but, uh, I don't know anything about shingles, so I wasn't able to piece any of that together, you know, so, um, but, and I still really don't know anything about that, but, but, um, but nonetheless, I spoke to him for a little bit, and he remembered who I was, and uh, he was happy to connect with you, so I was really glad to make that happen, and, uh, and, um, we got to get hots on Blu-ray. I don't know why that's not on Blu-ray. Um, Doubt for our face challenge is obviously not the first time you've been hit in the face with a pie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least I had clothes on this time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hots has been a while, and I really I, I w wish they'd get that on Blu-ray. You know, um, I've had Lisa London on here a couple times, and uh, and uh, we've talked about it. I always consider like um, hots like the could play double billing with Animal House. You know, one's about rowdy males and the other one's about rowdy females. That's true. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 
Do you, what do you remember best about your experiences on HOTS? Oh, I remember that it was a great house and that they filmed it at. And it was, it was a lot of fun filming it. I mean, all the people there were just a lot of fun. And of course we had the, the bear and it was, <laughs> the whole thing was just crazy fun. <laughs> Bear doesn't go to the cons, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> he could he could sit between you and Lisa London. <laughs> right. And it was it was fun pay, pay you know playing the the bad girls and uh, the stuck up ones. It was it was fun roles. Well, you were definitely naughty and gas pump girls. I'll tell you what. That. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we were naughty there too. I mean, the scene where. Uh, you're going by that door and <laughs> <laughs> Dan, what do you think when you see Sandy in uh, these naughty scenes? You mean here at home or in the movie? <laughs> Either way. <laughs> <laughs> like even in that back seat, it's like, you know, <laughs> the guys in there trying to drive. <laughs> <laughs> no but um no very fun very fun movies you know um so you got any cons coming up here in the near future i know you'd advertise one right we have they're both both of the ones that are coming up are in april mm -hmm. and the first one is the first one is new jersey horror con okay. and then nashville comes up the next weekend i believe so we're busy and then in may i'm going to be shooting a film in texas and it's a western yay oh there you go <laughs> you're putting on your annie oakley uh, no actually i'm going to be working in a brothel she'll be dressing down for this one <laughs> <laughs> no nudity but uh I won't be Annie Oakley. <laughs> no? Well, I'm looking at, and I don't know how much you can talk about these, but you got some pre-production credits here. Uh, one of them that stands out to me is Creeps at the Gym. <laughs> right. That's, uh, that's one for the U United Kingdom. That's a United Kingdom film. And uh, do I have bullets for Jesus up there yet? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, Bullets for Jesus is the one that's going to film. That's a that's a western. Actually, let me go back to that one. Bullets for Jesus. Actually, no, that's not listed here. Okay, I'll need to add that one. That one uh, films. Uh, that's John Rain. He's the mm -hmm. uh, director, and I think he originally wrote it some time back and it was a horror film and someone said you know that would make a great western so uh he wrote rewrote it as a western and i i think it's going to be really good oh wow creeps at the gym tony martin um i my picture's going to be in his film uh, the witches of the sands oh nice yeah he's directing that well he's in creeps at the gym I've had a lot of people on my show from that movie and uh, what a nice guy Tony Martin is. Um, Lindsay Drew, I haven't had on yet. She's in this. Uh, Danny Thompson. You get some good people in that. Creeps at the Gym. Is that supposed to be a zombie film or is that a documentary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a zombie film. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought there was some reality. <laughs> Bury the Hatchet, that's another one. You got Beverly Randolph in that with you. Yeah, I've got Dull some good Dull ones coming up that should be shooting here before too long. I'm supposed to be getting updated scripts in the next few weeks. Oh, uh, I just recently interviewed uh, Laura Allen Wilson from that film. Okay, cool. you get to work with her. She's a delight. Nice. Yeah, I just had her on. She's out of the UK and... Uh, Executioner. Um, 
you're involved with that one. Now, these are all in pre-production, so I don't know how much you can talk about these, but. Uh... Right, not a whole lot, but my role has increased in executioner. Um, it's gonna be bigger than we thought it was going to be. So that's and, nice. And I know last time I spoke to you, uh, Valpas was uh, uh, being uh, in production, so. Uh... Right, it's, it's finished. So it should be out pretty soon. And then I did a cameo in Halloween Slasher. So it, uh, hopefully those two will be out before too long. Okay. What's it feel like, Sandy, to get back in front of the camera again after being away from it for so long? Well, I'll tell you, I don't really know yet because <laughs> both of those were cameos and they were virtual. So I'm assuming that the one in Texas in May will really be my first chance to actually get on set and be in front of the camera again. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. Well, Dan, what was it like for you when you went to the premiere with Sandy of Halloween 2018? Do you have any reflections for that? For the premiere? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't have that on my bucket list, but it instantly went on there when I, as I did it. <laughs> that was awesome. it was, you know, it's just like you see in the movies. They put black car pulls up, someone opens the door, and out you get, and, and then flash, flash, flash everywhere. I mean, there's just so many photographers there. And we're going down the red carpet, and they're, hey, Sandy, look here. Hey, Sandy, look here. So does uh, Jamie Lee Curtis remember Sandy about uh, uh, all the blood that she had to help clean off you? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> she had, she was covered in it uh, in these ones. I'll tell you that. Did you see Halloween Kills? We did. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts on that? That that. Well, I liked the opening scene. I thought the opening scene was the best part of the whole film. I got to admit, Kyle Richards grew up stunning. I got to say that. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's done a lot of stuff uh, as an actress. But yeah, yeah, it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely not my favorite, but I did like the opening. I thought the opening with the firemen and everything was pretty spectacular. I gotta say, I, I, and I've said this before, Andy Matichak looks a lot like you. Yeah, I've heard that before, and that's a compliment. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is. Um, I had a few issues with the film. There's like, there was some extreme missed opportunities. There should have been a moment between the Charles Cyphers character, Lee Brackett, and Laurie Strode because Lee Brackett was Annie's father. That right. never happened. And um, they never link together. Like they just have um, Anthony Michael Hall, who quite frankly, I thought fine casting to get him to play Tommy Doyle, but he rushes into the hospital room there with Lori. And I'm like, like when they're at the bar and whatnot, it's like, you know, we don't know whether they stay connected all those years or what the story is. There was something missing in in some of this movie. Um, uh, I didn't dislike the film. Um, I had a good time with it, but uh, I think it was way too focused mm -hmm. on the gore Cats are le getting in on this. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think there was something missing. I'm looking forward to seeing what Halloween Ends does. You know? Um, did you have any favorites out of the sequels? I liked two, and mm. I liked 2018. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's another thing, too. Halloween 2 should have remained canon. Because when all the hysteria is happening in Halloween Kills, it's like, 
it would make a lot more sense had it included the carnage from the second one as well as the first one. Because they they didn't have it canon because uh, the whole Myers being Laurie's brother and stuff. But I don't know. I'd like to think they might have been able to get around that. I don't know. Let me guess. There's a kitty. <laughs> Look at that. Mine is avoiding me like the plague. Yeah, because he knows. So which one is that one? This is Starbuck. Starbuck. Was he watching the birds? <laughs> oh, they always watch the birds. <laughs> they always watch the birds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a cat lover as well. I'm a cat lover as well. The only one of your films I have not seen for your older films is uh, things to jokes to te you tell in was it jokes my folks never told me jokes i haven't seen that um what was that about again it's a series of jokes that are just really outdated now at the time they were cutting edge and really dirty <laughs> <laughs> so they're just acted out and i play a farmer's daughter in them so there's a lot of farmer's daughter jokes okay well, Dan, do you have a favorite of her movies? Uh, Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween is great. Halloween is great. Well, you know what? I had uh, a lot of fun having you two come on here um, um, to talk. And I really wanted to get that experience of the two of you at the cons and uh, and. Um, because I've been to all of, all of them but once. You left me at home one time. And oh, yeah. Let's talk <laughs> about that for a minute. Let's talk about that. I've heard that. Give me your side of that story, Dan. <laughs> well, I gave, up, I gave up my seat for her best friend from middle, middle school. They've been friends that long. And uh, that won't happen again. <laughs> I, don't like to, I don't like to stay at home. Uh, that's one thing we've never, we hardly, rarely ever do is travel. Yeah, hardly ever traveled? We hardly ever travel without both of us being there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we, I can only think of a couple of times I went on business trips and a couple of times she did things and the rest of the time we're always together. So that was part of the deal with her agent that I get to go to the con. So that's, he gives up his seat for me to be there sometimes. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Oh yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you're Santa Claus. So if he doesn't let you go, <laughs> he goes on the naughty list, you know, he goes on the I naughty list. That, it hadn't gotten bad or anything. So I don't need to do that yet, but that's a good. There you do. Well, well, I'm looking at that shirt you have on Sandy Johnson. Now that's Sandy Johnson's number one fan. Look at that. There you go. I've been offered 50 bucks for it once. <laughs> and I was, oh yeah. Yeah. You know, she made that. She made it for me. I have, I have several of them, but. Oh, there you go. But I still have all of them. I don't give any of them out. They, they try to convince me that, they, that, uh, they they deserve it more than me, and I said, no, I don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> so you wear that at the cons? Sure, one of the many. I got I got several that I wear, but this is one of my favorites. It's got like little what is it bats or pumpkin faces? Uh, Jack yeah, jack o' lantern. Jack o' lanterns, okay. Mm -hmm. And you got a little tombstone, Judith Myers, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't that awesome? There you go. Okay, I was just noticing that there. And Sandy looking prime and proper in her red. <laughs> <laughs> Another little tidbit about the, the photo that you like of her in the purple and the, by the tombstone. Yeah. That was shot in our front yard. And right during that shooting, we heard the UPS truck coming in. So we had to move the headstone right away so that <laughs> didn't freak the guy out. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Yeah, you maybe you should have did that in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> because then, 
<laughs> no, but you know what? I. Yeah, we've been making this happen. I tell you, I kept on that pause button. So, uh, yeah, we're, we'll make this happen. I, it must be Texas. It must it be Texas. It must be Texas because, I mean, you guys have been getting unusual weather the last couple of years. So, uh, yeah. You guys have to shovel out last year when you had the big snowstorm? No, it was it was mostly ice. And it uh, there wasn't you know wasn't like a huge depth of snow or anything. It was just a ton of ice. Lots of ice. Uh, to be careful. Yeah, yeah, be careful driving on that. You know, yeah. it's cobblestone uh, ice on the roads was terrible. Yeah, I've been off the road uh, with icy roads before. Of course, I'm kind of used to it here. So, um, but I'm looking forward to, like when it gets to April and you know. Uh, April to about October, you know, we don't have any snow, so we're pretty good there. So knock on wood. So just got to get through March. And I think, yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know what? It was wonderful having. We'll wrap up here shortly. Um, please plug, <laughs> plug your web page uh, again, uh, Sandy. So for those that want to get autographs and whatnot. All right. It's unicornsandyj.com. And I have autograph photos. You can send in things to be autographed. I, all my podcasts are listed on there. So lots of fun stuff. Absolutely. Um, and of course, uh, you got charities that you want to uh, plug and promote on here? Sure. Um, Tunnels for Towers. Mm -hmm. Shriners Children's Hospital, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. all good things. Yeah. Well, again, I thank you for doing that Doubt Fire Face Challenge. That was a lot of fun to see. And uh, uh, I got to get that up on my YouTube channel. I don't know how to get it there. Um, I got it on my, uh, my messengers. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get that on the... Um, on my YouTube, and I'm wondering if there's something I did wrong. Oh. But uh, I hope you still have it in, in case, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get that up on my YouTube. Um, and there's a couple of other ones I have too that I got to try to get up there on my uh, YouTube channel. It I might thought be... I sent it to you. Didn't you have me send it to you? Um. Did you, how did you send it to me? Mm. Was it through Dropbox or something? Might have been, yes. How do I get it out of Dropbox and, and uh... Uh, well, you can't at this point, I'd have to resend it. It's only good for a few days if you don't mm. download it. Oh, they, maybe that's where I had the problem. Okay. Right. Maybe that is it. I'm still getting used to it. Would you, would you, would you mind sending it to me again? Would no. Be, okay. I'll make a note so that I don't forget. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I remember you put it up there during lockdown, and so many people responded positively at that, you know. And um, Scotty McCoy, I know you've been on his show. He suggested right. I send them out to people on Cameo. And I've had a few people in the wrestling community do it, you know. And uh, <laughs> But... Um, I've had a few good responses with that. And um, Leah Thompson did it from Back to the Future, although she couldn't get a pie because of the pandemic, but she had an ice cream cone. And she put whipped cream <laughs> on it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, she's got a good sense of humor. So, um, <laughs> you know, um, but I'm always down for if they, somebody has uh, their own charity, I'll donate in return. And I've always made good on that. Um, I've had a few people screw me over on that, though, who said they do it and I donate to their charity and then they not do it. And um, that's very discouraging because uh, I'm not making the big bucks. <laughs> so um, <laughs> that's always discouraging. But I'm really glad you come through and I'm glad you both had fun with it, you yeah. know. What does Nick Castle think, Dan, of you playing Michael Myers? I don't think he cares. We're good friends. 
well, what, what, so so he because there might be a thing where he starts playing Santa Claus. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know. yeah, we got to get him and PJ Souls into that doubt for our challenge. So uh, yeah. I'll, I'll have to figure that out somehow, you know. So, uh, but yeah, send send that to me again, Sandy. And I apologize for the inconvenience there. I'll, 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 I'll maybe it's a downloading thing I screwed up on. I'm just kind of getting used to all of that you know yeah when it comes again it'll just come as a link um uh -huh. at, to your email do i have your email um yeah it's uh i'll send it to you and uh, i'll send you my email address and yeah, send, send me the email because that's how it'll come to you and then you just click on the link and download it perfect perfect yeah now I'll put it up on my YouTube because I actually got a playlist of doubt fireface challenges, you know? <laughs> yeah. So um, those, those are always fun. And when people do them and uh, all's great there. Um, anything else you, you guys, a, huh? If you need a pie deliver for PJ or, or Nick, just let me know. I, I'd be happy to stand in for that <laughs> to deliver the pie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it would be so great. To, I especially can't wait to see PJ's reaction. I don't know enough about Nick Castle, except when he appears on uh, Sean Clark's show. But PJ sounds like kind of similar to Felissa Rose. Hell, she might very, react. Very sweet lady. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, I think in the back of my mind, she'd be down for something like this. Uh, absolutely. You know, especially playing... Uh, Riff Randall, rock and roller, rock and roll high school. <laughs> <laughs> Love PJ, one of my bucket lists. Got to get her on here at some point, you know, but um, but nonetheless, I am so happy I've had you on here three times, Sandy. And Dan, it was so nice to meet you. I really, nice really want, you. yeah, I wanted to hear your story, you know, and, yeah. uh, and uh, John Clark sure, said, huh? Be sure to let your folks know that the, all the, when you're uh, having to take things out, it wasn't because of something that I said. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, no, I, I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I, I've had this happen before, you know, where yeah. somebody conks out and I just pause it and keeps recording. So, you know, um, I don't know how to edit on Zoom. So, <laughs> but uh it'll come out in one big long interview you know what uh no dan it was nice to get you on here because i really uh your first experience reminded <laughs> me of my first experience at these cons you know and it is just a totally different world <laughs> absolutely you know so i can't wait i'm looking forward It's a totally different world. I'm looking forward to getting out this fall, hopefully for Horrorama and Frightmare in the Falls. I hope that you guys are going to be at one of those, you know. Uh, Horrorama is run by Chris Alexander uh, and um, Louis Srez of Suspect Video. And uh, Frightmare in the Falls uh, is run by two people. And one of the names escapes me, but James Ponce I've had on here. And... Uh, and um, I think I've successfully got Lisa Langwa booked for that. Uh, and I'm not a booker, but because she's a friend of mine, I, I got her in there. So, uh, so I get to do another one of these with her. So, so I'm hoping they get you at uh, those because of Frightmare, that was where I met, uh, Frightmare in the Falls is where I met Felissa. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, hopefully I'll get invited someday <laughs> and we'll get to meet. Felissa is, was such a darling because um, I got her to sign a picture for my younger brother. My younger brother's taking care of her folks because uh, dad is on his um, eighth year with ALS and mom's got Parkinson's and my wow. brother takes care of them. And, um, and when I uh, met up with Felissa, I told her about this and, and she, this was so cool. She goes, let me do a shout out video. Okay. And she goes, let me do a, a, a shout out video for your brother. And I thought that was so cool. And she did. And I sent it to my brother who was at the time taking care of my very unimpressed cat here. 
<laughs> he sends me a picture of my cat. He says, look who's not impressed that you didn't show up. <laughs> there he is over here. Just give me, I'll, I'll get my cat. Just give me a second. Okay. <laughs> No. Yeah. Skittles, we got to exploit you a Skittles. little bit. <laughs> yeah, he was there. He's a rescue. Aww. Skittles is a colorful candy, but this one's black and white. Aww. Skittles, you do, you miss their cat. You miss Starbuck. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles is like you're explo you're exploiting me for hits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I when I went over That's there, funny. he bolted for the kitchen. He knows I'm going to do this. Skittles, say hello to Sandy and Dan. They got two kitties. Hi, Skittles. Skittles is like, Skittles is like why are you exploiting me? Why are we doing this? Skittles, <laughs> you're living here rent free. He stick his paw up. He's like, oh, you want out. I want out. <laughs> <laughs> He'll jump up on my bed to wake me up because I work back shift. And so I sleep during the day and he'll get up on my bed. He'll wander over and he'll look me right in the face. And I'm like, Skittles, <laughs> your wake time and my wake time are two different things. <laughs> <laughs> but um, nonetheless, it was such a delight having you two come on here today. And I hope to see you both at a con because um sean clark had said you both got the bug <laughs> <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah it is true so um this has been a lot of fun if there's ice on your roads there be careful driving on it because i i could tell from i could tell you from experience you don't want to lose control of your vehicle you know and uh i know you're not used to that there in texas but some strange stuff going on so um yeah we'll stay in the house you know what that's <laughs> probably that's, down. there you go that's probably a good a much better idea much better idea and uh but anyway uh one last question for you dan what do you have any plans what you're going to get sandy for christmas if she's good this year no i got several months to think about it i'll come up with something good though does nick castle get coal <laughs> no, um, Nick's my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Has PJ Souls been good all year? Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> always good. <laughs> She's always good. Fliss is always good, you know? Yes. All right. Well, before I let you go, I would love a plug for my show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pi yeah, give me the whole thing. It's a lot of words. <laughs> Python's Pair, Greg Gilbert on Python's Paradise. And you're, of course, we know your name. Python's Paradise, there Greg Gilbert. Love you. <laughs> we love you too. We got to get you here in Canada to do a con, you know? Yes. That's yep. about the only times I get away is when I do those cons. And I love them. I love them. But uh, oh. it, yeah, delightful to have you two on here. And when this link is ready, I will send it out. Um, I don't know if you know it's on Facebook, but uh, yesterday was the one year anniversary and I had you on last year. I saw that. Yep, yep. Your first interview, I don't have up and ready because that was when I did them at the station. Though Those were by phone and when we went into lockdown, it's actually Nancy McLaughlin that suggested the Zoom thing from Jason Lives. So uh, if you want to see a Friday the 13th film you'll have total fun with, watch part six, Jason Lives. Okay. That that one there's the most fun, you know? <laughs> and this one's the scariest, the final chapter. Ooh. Yeah, the final chapter. You got Crispin Glover in this one, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but anyway, yeah. Um, I'll get that when I, my brother gets at that first one, you know, and gets those all up and ready because he does that. But he's been so busy with my folks. So, so those 30 interviews I did in 2020 are up on 
YouTube yet, but I have them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, until then, you know what? Uh, God bless you both. Thank you so much for honoring me, uh, allowing me the honor to have you both on as guests. And, uh, and um, you guys have fun at those cons. We do. <laughs> every time. Every you, time. You too. And thanks for having us on. We enjoyed it. Thanks again. And see if you can pat down Sean Clark's hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you both. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.